Hey, Grant Cardone here, New York Times bestselling author, and I'm starting my day off like you do with family, wife, the kids, Sabrina, Scarlett, Elena, and here we are. Uh, you might want to take your tag off. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> see, that's what life's like, you know? You're waking up, trying to balance your career, your family. Uh, this morning I wake up, I spend some time with my one-year-old, then my three-year-old wakes up, I want to spend some time with her. I'm getting dressed for a meeting. I forget to the, the bang the tag out. Uh, there it is. And these are the little challenges that we all face. And look, you're up to the challenges. You know, Richard Nixon, it didn't turn out so good for him, but Richard Nixon says, only if you've been in the deepest valley can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain. Now, I don't know if that was just a political speech he was given, but there's truth in that. And, you know, I haven't always had a life like I have today. I've been up against unbelievable challenge, challenges, particularly that many of you don't know after the Lehman's collapse and the economic implosion here in the United States. Uh, all my businesses got hurt. My real estate was all frozen. But it became an inspiration, that challenge. Look, we were just starting to have kids at the same time. Uh, all my real estate holdings around the United States were literally locked up. I couldn't get them. The bank that I had the loans with went under and was bought out from another bank. We had our first baby, Sabrina. Uh, I was under all this other stuff that was going on with you that I can't even disclose in this video. But it was crazy, right? It was crazy. And I was challenged like you've been in your own life with probably with family, in a marriage, with kids, with schedules, with getting them to school, with running your business, with running your payroll maybe, uh, with people not doing what they say they're going to do, with customers that maybe you lost, a budget you can't make, you're having to pay for the house, your income's going down. Dude, th those are the kind of things. These are the challenges. Maybe some illness in your family. My mother died three years ago. She started becoming ill. Like, it's all this stuff going on, most of which we never plan on. You know, so regardless of where a person's at in life, whether they have in financial success or not having financial success, they push through challenges. And those that are not succeeding at this moment, look, it's critical that you don't turn your challenges over to someone else. They're your challenges. These are the moments that make you brilliant. So how do I make sure that my family succeeds? These are the questions I ask. How do I make sure my marriage, when I wake up in the morning, how do I make sure my marriage works every day? How do I make sure that I get quality time with my kids? How do I make sure that I also succeed in my business? How do I, how do I ensure that I take care of my body physically so I have a lot of energy to do all this stuff? These are the challenges we all face. Probably never before in my lifetime have the challenges, the risk, and the payoffs been so great as right now? Now, while I'm blessed to have a great life, you know, many of you are blessed in many ways that I'm not blessed in. I'm blessed in many ways other people aren't. I think the challenge is, for each of us, is to use those things, those obstacles, those barriers, those difficulties, to figure out how we become great in those areas of our life that maybe we're not doing so well in. So, look, the reason I'm where I'm at today is because I just push through. I push through. It's not because of my height. It's not because of where I went to college. It's not definitely not because of the government. Nobody built this for me. Nobody wrote my books. Nobody wrote my programs. Nobody recorded my audio programs. Nobody did what I did except me. And nobody's going to do what you're going to do except you. So look, I want to give you a couple things real quick before we leave this. This is how to handle challenges. The first thing I do in handling challenges is I stop resisting the challenge. I stop denying that there's a challenge. I stop, you know, fighting the fact that I'm getting hammered. You got to acknowledge, dude, this is tough. This is difficult. And then you have to own and embrace your challenge. It's your challenge. It's not somebody else's. It's yours. It's your difficulty, your challenge. My little girl is not just my little gift from God, Sabrina. She's my, she's my challenge. How do I spend time with her? 
She, she becomes an opportunity for me to figure out how do I manage time better? How do I create more time? How do I spend quality time with her and still get everything else done? If you're a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I would never use the challenge of Sabrina as an excuse. She's an opportunity. So that's what I'm telling you. Step one, look at your challenges, whatever they are. Maybe, maybe you have an alcohol problem. Maybe you have a drug problem. Maybe you have a problem in committing to relationships. Um, I've had all these problems, okay? Maybe you've had a problem with finances. I've had that problem. Maybe you've had a problem with income. These are challenges. Look, embrace the challenge as an opportunity and start figuring, really looking at it. Hey, how do I handle this? How can I execute on this? How can I, how can I win at this great challenge? It's your challenge. It's unique to you. You know, a man once told me, he's like, I got cancer, Grant. He had cancer of the pancreas. Like, that's a big deal. And uh, I said, wow, man, you must be up for the challenge. And he started laughing. He's like, what? I said, you must be up for the challenge. You must be up for a big challenge. And he's like, man, thanks for saying that. Everybody else is feeling sorry for me. So whatever your challenges, okay, look, embrace them. Look at them. You know, love them. Hug them. Okay, how do I get out of this deal? Maybe you're being foreclosed on. Okay, what do I do with it? How is this an opportunity for me to recreate myself? Second thing that you have to do. Look, you've got to stay around positive information. You've got, to, you've got to train. You've got to read books. You need to listen to audios. You need to get connected with people that are positive, positive messages. You know, what goes on in her head? Hey, finish this for me. I'm sexy, Anna. Me and my wife were singing that song. The next thing you know, she's singing it. It just goes to show you that people start doing, saying, and becoming examples of that which they surround themselves. The Navy SEAL, the guy surrounds himself with everything, everything to defend himself and to prepare for an attack, okay, and how, how to maintain through difficulties and challenges. So prepare like a SEAL, okay, dedicate yourself to training, education. If you're not spending a couple hundred to five hundred to a thousand dollars a month on your own education, you hear what I'm saying? If you're spending $1,000 for rent and not spending $1,000 on your own enhancement, you got it backwards. The only way you're going to get out of that apartment that you're in right now is by enhancing yourself, not by paying for that apartment. Enhance yourself. Create more income. Have it on your budget lines. Have it in your financial um, plan. I need to enhance myself. And the third thing, the third thing, right, Sabrina, you know what the third thing is? Man, don't slow down, ever. Do not slow down. When, you hit, when you're hit with a challenge, maybe take a moment to look at it and then figure out, when you got your back against the wall, you know what you do? You turn around and knock that wall down. When you get hit by somebody, you stand up and say, dang, dude, hey, that was good. You slap like a little bitch. See, that's the attitude you need. Okay, man, challenge, let's roll. So, look, I know life is difficult. I know this economy is freaking difficult. But the deal is the economy beats most people down and most people just stay down. The economy challenges are not used to people standing up and saying, hey, you, you thought that was a hit? Bam, and they slap them back. That's how you want to approach it. No negativity in your environment. Embrace your challenges, number one. No negativity. Get positive. Surround yourself up with techniques and, and thinking and creativity. And number three, baby, hit back, never slow down, slam and jam, do more than anybody else think is possible. Literally, do so much. Don't use those guys as excuses, okay? Do so much that you're not balanced in life. You're not interested in balance in life. You're interested in how do I do everything, how do I handle all the challenges in life, and how do I create an extraordinary, unbelievable, incredible life? This is Grant Cardone. Thank you for your time here. Share this with other people. Hey, look, a lot of people out there are being challenged right now, and a lot of people need positive information. Thanks a lot, and have a great, great week.